Okay friends, so welcome to today's geometry lesson. Today we're going to be looking at angles, what they are, their parts, and the different kinds of angles. So here, I have two sticks, and here I have an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. That is an angle. So an angle is a space that's made between two lines. We can actually, di different angles have different spaces between them. So here we have a little space. Here we have a big space, don't we? So let's talk about the parts of our angle first. I have my little envelopes, my little envelope of angle parts. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of my tickets. First thing that's really obvious on angles are these two lines. We call those sides, or we also call them legs, the legs or sides of an angle. So there's two sides to each angle, one, two sides. Now, do you see this here where the brass brad is that's connecting the two lines? That's called a vertex. And the space between the two sides is called an amplitude, okay? So I'm gonna slide this up here. Now let's look at the main types of angles. Here we have an angle that makes a perfect L, doesn't it? See this little guide? It fits perfectly in that corner. It's almost like if I took two more red sticks I can make a square, right? So an angle that's like this, that makes a perfect L, has a special name. It's called a right angle, a right angle. So that's one of our main types. Now here, here we see a right angle, but this angle is gonna come down here. This is actually a little smaller, isn't it? The space, the amplitude on this angle is much smaller than a right angle. So an angle that has an amplitude smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. An acute angle. I remember that as like saying acute little angle, okay? Acute angle. Now, the amplitude in this angle is much bigger than a right angle, isn't it? Because here's a right angle, roughly, and this one goes past that point. An angle that is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. And our last type of angle is this one here. It looks just kind of like a straight line, doesn't it? Well, guess what it's called? A straight angle. Two lines come together. It still has a vertex. Two lines come together and it makes a straight angle when they're completely a straight line. Here we can see all the terms that we learned. Remember, the parts of an angle has, has two sides or two legs, whichever you'd like to call it. The vertex is where the two legs come together to make a point. And then the amplitude is the space between the two legs. Our right angle makes a perfect L or corner of a square or a rectangle. Our acute angle, an acute angle's amplitude is smaller than a right angle. We have an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle's amplitude is bigger than a right angle. And here we have a straight angle, which is when the two sides of the angle come together, the vertex, and they make a straight line. Okay, so let's go on a little scavenger hunt, see if we can find some different angles. Okay, so here's my computer, and I see some right angles here. Here, so here's the vertex, look, you can see me. Here's the vertex, and then here's the legs, and then the amplitude is the space between. All right, going on a little hunt here. Right, I can see another right angle right there. Leg, leg, vertex. Amplitude space is a right angle. Okay. Ooh. Look at this small piece of art that we hung for Emily. 
So let's look at these two blue lines as two legs, and then there's the vertex. These make an acute angle because the amplitude is less than a right angle. Just like if we look at these two blue lines, we have a leg, leg, and vertex. This is actually bigger than a right angle, so this is an obtuse angle. Let's keep looking around. All right, we're gonna go outside. Maddie's gonna come with us. Go, Maddie, go! All right. So, here's my backyard. The, that needs to be mowed. Let's see if we can find some some cool angles here, though. What about, what about this one? So here is part of our deck. So if I turn our camera this way, we can see a leg and a leg and a vertex, okay? And if this was a right angle, this part would come out like that. But it's not, it's an acute angle. See, it almost looks like you could make it into a little triangle. Then if we come down here, we kind of look at the same part. We have a leg and a leg and a vertex. But, there we go. But the amplitude is bigger than a right angle. A right angle would be like right about here, but it actually goes back some more like that. So there's some cute angles. The wires up there make some angles, don't they? I don't know what happened. So, let's see if I can point. So here's a vertex. I see a leg and a leg, and it's making an acute angle. But we can also see, if we look up here, vertex. Let's see if I can get my finger. We have a, a leg and a leg, and it makes an obtuse angle. Can you see that? What if we look at my garage? So, leg, leg, oh wait, there we go, vertex. That's making an obtuse angle. And then if we look right here, leg, leg, vertex, look at the amplitude in that angle, it's very small. That makes an acute angle. So I was able to find all the different angles. I guess like if we looked for a straight angle, we could do the same thing at my garage here. Sorry, my neighbor dog is barking. Here is your vertex, leg, leg, it's making a straight angle. Well, that's pretty cool. Good time. We can see that too if we look at my neighbor, all that slate. So here's the vertex leg leg makes a straight angle so i want you to go out into your yard see if you can find different angles or maybe even around your house i have a lot of right angles in my house oh wait i, I have an idea i know one place we can find some angles let's go maddie's gonna stay out here bye maddie so here are the stairs in my house so when we look here and here here's a leg leg, vertex. That makes a really good obtuse angle. Look at that. There you can also see here and here. I'm going to turn the camera. This is the, so right angle it would be coming out here. Leg, leg, vertex. Right angle would come out here, but it actually comes out right there. So that's an obtuse angle. Now if we look at here, the banister and the trim behind it. See, here's the one leg, vertex leg. Look at that amplitude there, it's smaller than a right angle. A right angle would be like this. Okay, so, let me those stairs go all the way up there. Oh, yeah, so there's lines all over the place. Oh, there's many. So thanks for a quick tour of my house. I didn't show you everything, it's a little messy. But, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks. Go out. Hunt for some angles. Minnie and I will keep looking, too. Okay. I adore you. Bye.